and you're hooked on to the hottest radio station in town, 96.4 Spice FM, City on Fire. It's your girl, Taz and Sammy. Yep. And I can't wait to say this right now because we have the coolest, coolest musician in Bangladesh, Mr. Shafin Ahmed, with us on the studio. Hi, man. Hey, How are you? I'm good. How are you guys doing? We are great right now. But one thing, I always ask this to somebody, how do, does the studio feel? This is amazing. You know, they're so different from uh, the other places I've been to. Mm. This feels like I'm um, uh, in the space somewhere. Nice. Oh. nice. <laughs> Floating. Right in the moon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, um, mm. you know what? You come from a, from a musical family. Like, your yeah. father was a musician. Your mother was a teacher as well, right? And yeah. how yeah. does it feel? How did it feel? Well, um... Bring up. This is a this is a question I'm asked quite quite a lot, mm. but uh, this is I think I'm very fortunate really because uh, since I'm in music, um, so much I've learned from just being around them. Mm-hmm. Uh, although I haven't uh, taken any uh, academic lessons, right? I was I was um, very uh, naughty. <laughs> they, couldn't, they couldn't get me. Uh, Are you still naughty? I am. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Of real course. Bad, yeah. I like, oh, I that. like that. So they couldn't uh, keep me uh, sitting down and learning for mm. a long time. You know? mm. Nice, nice. But you know, I must say, Mr. Shafran, I, mean, I love your voice. It Thank is you. just so rocking hot. Thank you so it's much. In fact, talking about hot, you know, uh, what is hot is down under. We believe that he went to Australia just a few days back. Uh, yeah, for, yeah, just came for a tour. Yeah, 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 you know yeah. what? I want to know how was it. I was it was Australia? absolutely fantastic. I mean, great experience. All the cities uh, were absolutely sold out. This is the first time I saw okay. for our Bangladeshi band uh, selling out uh, right. way before the date. <laughs> That's absolutely fantastic. We played four places. All right. Okay. Adelaide, Melbourne, Sydney and uh, Canberra. Nice, okay. nice. So, you, so you did go to Sydney. Did you we manage to, to do Sydney. some sightseeing? We started with Sydney, actually. Okay, okay. Amazing. I want to ask you something. Uh, did you try it out? I'm sure, like steak. Sydney men, Australians, uh, famous for their steaks. Tell me a little bit. Yeah, we know about their cows. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, man. No Once man. a year, all of them are just mm-mm-mm, right? All right. All that yeah. goes in. No, but tell me. Uh, now We know, wanted the uh, kangaroo steak. You did? But we, could, we you couldn't find it. Didn't get it? No, Aww. no. National, that's, that's still due. That's you due. Know, that's that's looking due. for that. No, true, true, true. So now, uh, you know, I would want to know that as a musician, you know, this tour of Australia, what are the new things you learned as a musician? As a musician? We're always learning as a musician. Mm-hmm. Every time we get up on stage, there are new things we're learning. Right, right. And in most cases, you know, the, it's the technical things. Mm-hmm. Correct. Technical things, uh, meaning uh, every situation is different, every show is different, every crowd is different. Mm-hmm. So how we cope with that crowd, how we cope mm-hmm. with that situation, with the equipment that we have, right. it's not always the ideal situation. You know, mm-hmm. uh, it's not my equipment that I'm carrying every time. No. So... Uh, Adapting with the different situations. That is that, important. That is uh, something we're always learning. Cool. Yeah. Comes, comes with experience. Nice, nice, nice. Right. So, uh, I mean, if I may, just oh, one please, more because please. I'm like really excited. No, I'm just more excited. Back. That's why I keep cutting you. Come on, man. Okay, we're okay. both excited. Okay. You guys should come to our concert, you know, next time. Yeah, man. For sure. For we sure. We would be in the front. So much fun. Jamming. You know, people you know both so of us fun. and music. We have a long history. Yeah. Oh, so, do you play music? I, yeah, I play You're the involved? piano. Yeah. I play the piano. I a just listen to she it, but to it. like I am involved completely. Mm, completely <laughs> involved listening. That's good. But yeah, the, you know, uh, we gotta have some listeners. Absolutely, or else, or else <laughs> doesn't work. And musicians, that's what we, you what know, would you live do? by. Yeah, who would you play for? Yeah, uh, absolutely. But you know, now that uh, this tour is done, yes. what are the future tours and what are the future plans for you know touring? What 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 is coming up? What's really coming up is uh, a lot of recordings. Uh, mm-hmm. A lot of recordings coming up. Mm. Uh, tours we have done quite a lot. Right. Frankly speaking, the last two years have been very, very busy for miles. Mm-hmm. Mm. I think we've done as much uh, touring as as uh, recording as well. Great. We released a lot of new songs nice. mm. um, and touring at the same time. So it's been very, very hectic last mm-hmm. two years. Mm. And uh, if you ask me uh, what's coming up, uh, a lot of recordings, a lot of new songs. Nice. All right. We are committed to that. I nice. understand. You know, we signed up for certain things and we have to deliver within time. Absolutely. Um, 
How are you guys doing listening out there? <laughs> is Dhaka City awake? Oh, Everyone yeah. is, believe me. There's no, there's no point us talking if no. uh, you guys are not there, you know. Thursday night, Taz and Sammy's show. Believe me, everybody stays up to listen to this. Yeah. Oh, Trust me on that. I'm so glad. Uh, you are. Wonderful name, Taz and Sammy's show. Very <laughs> smart. Thank, thank you, thank, thank you so you. much. Yeah, right. You know what? He's going to be in the studio, but yes, why don't we will. play some songs, man? Oh, yes, we do. We have three amazing songs coming up back to back only on 96.4 Spice FM. City on Fire, and we're going to start with a song by him. Oh yes, it is 11.17 on the clock. You are hooked onto the hottest radio station in town, 96.4 Spice FM City on Fire. And uh, things over here are a little bit more hotter because of three reasons. Number one, we are having a Halloween party over here in the office. Number two, it is a Taz and Sammy show. It's got to get hot. Yeah. And because Mr. Shafin Ahmed, he is in the studio. And Absolutely. sir, 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 how are you doing? It's a great show, man. It, it feels so different. And uh, it's definitely a hot show. Yeah, it is. The room's cold, by the way. Uh, uh, the party is on. Absolutely. Party's Fire, on. right? Yeah, absolutely. Right. You know what? Uh, since we're talking about uh, your international trips and uh, w- the way you've toured and also you were telling us that uh, there are going to be recordings, I want to know that internationally, who are the artists who have inspired you? Mm, that's a big question. Mm. Uh, most of the names I'm going to say, uh, uh, I have a feeling the listeners wouldn't even know. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Dry. <laughs> but even then, you know... Uh, no, some are big names. We grew up, when I was a teenager, I was listening heavily. Uh, uh, I was into uh, Pink Floyd. Mm-hmm. Uh, of course. Uh, Deep Purple, big time. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Deep Purple, That's big time. Rock. Santana. Uh, yeah. But actually started with Beatles. Oh, of big course. Time. Nice, big, nice. Big time into Beatles. Oh, and, right. Uh, Rolling Stones as well. Pink Floyd, Led Zepp. Mm-hmm. And uh, all these, you know, then some of the other bands came up. The Who, for example. Right, of course. You know, uh, I said Deep Purple, then came Rainbow and all that. So these were the initial influences. Mm-hmm. You know what we used to do? We used to just play the record very loud in the room. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Those uh, 33 RPM. Right, big, right, big right. Records. Yeah, record. Just sing along. <laughs> nice. Thanks. Just sing loud and, you know, that's all. That was the fun. Close, small room with mm-hmm. friends, mm-hmm. playing the music loud, right. singing along. Nice. And then that had the influence. You know, the record covers were so impressive. Those just big picture. The artwork, yes. The 33 RPM, the artwork was yeah. great. That influenced nice. our, uh, our appearance as well. Wow. I must admit, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. We used to go to school at that mm-hmm. time. But school uniform was like a light blue shirt and... A navy blue pant. Right. We turned the navy blue plant pant into jeans. Okay. Cool. And then torn jeans in school. Cool. Right. Okay. Standing in assembly and looking so odd, you know. We used to tear off the jeans uh, and uh, just try to look um, like the bands that I'm listening to, you know. Rock stars, right? right? Absolutely. Such yeah. an influence. Rock That's music crazy. on on growing up uh, mm-hmm. kids. Mm-hmm. It's got to have a lot of influence. But Absolutely. These days, hip-hop as well, you know, it's, it's totally different. Right. But then a lot of the kids are looking like they're into it, you know. But, Absolutely. you know, since um, I would also like to know, like, current generation artists that inspire you, you know? Internationally? Yeah. Yeah, internationally. I'm a big fan of Bon Jovi, who's nice. still going strong. Right. Um, nice. Been a big fan of uh, Aerosmith. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, the, because I'm into rock, yeah, I, absolutely. I like absolutely, that. You know? yeah. Absolutely. On on uh, single artists, if I talk about song makers, I'm really big fan of Sting. Oh, as okay. a song maker, seriously. Yeah. Very good song maker. Yeah. Uh-huh. Earlier on, I, I used to listen to uh, Stevie Wonder big time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Brian Adams made oh, yeah. so many classic. The legend, oh, yeah. the legend. Oh, yeah. How can one guy make so many good <laughs> songs on and on and on? Absolutely. And his voice, that raspy voice, you know. And the way he used to feel the song, every oh, song. Man. And we played, For so sure. we covered many of those. Absolutely. Wow. Absolutely. Rescue Me, I remember. Still do Summer of 69. Then uh, Have You Ever Really Loved a Woman? Oh, just so many great songs there, you know? So, you know, I would like to ask you another question. Like, how many rock and roll fests have you been to? Like, how, how are things there? You concerts? Know, cause Co- concerts, I'm sure they're... Like, I've been to a couple of them, and they're crazy. But a lot of your fans would like I've to been, listen. I've been quite fortunate, you know? Yeah. Uh, before I say the names, mm-hmm. you know, I must say that I never had a hobby. Mm-hmm. Okay. But the only hobby that suddenly picked up with me is collecting concert tickets. Mm-hmm. What happened is I started going to concerts. I never threw away the uh, tickets. The ticket box, right. So yeah. I have all of them. 
it tells wow. so much story. You know, wow. I remember I look and look at one. I can actually remember what happened that night. That's amazing. Yeah, how I went, in how I came home. That's amazing. Well, how wow. was the last That's train back home and all that? You know. Mm. So most of these were in London. Um, uh, I've seen. Santana, I've seen Bon Jovi, I've seen uh, Michael Jackson. Oh, oh the King of Pop. Rare. Wow. You know, what a show that was. I also went to, I wouldn't miss if I, you know, found anything big, mm. uh, any big act, I would go and see. Go and see it. Just for the fun of it, like nice. what I'm about to say is Madonna. Oh, so, great. listeners, uh, don't laugh, okay? Oh, she's a queen of pop. She's amazing. Uh, absolutely. I mean, she, she, was, she was hot at that time. Well, yeah. she still is. Did she really? do that? She's tight. She's fit. She works out four to five hours a day. God damn it. Absolutely amazing, Think isn't it? it? Mr. Shafrin yeah, come on. Amazing. Let's not go there. Have you seen yourself? You look pretty goddamn fit to me, too. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> and I want to know. This is... I need to know. I'm 18 till I die. You know? Oh, man. I like that. <laughs> So what he's saying is that he has to be young at heart. Mm -hmm. That's why he looks so young. That's that's all that matters. Oh yes, absolutely. No, it's man. all in the mind. They can't look like that. <laughs> Not like that. You know, while you guys listen to four amazing songs back to back, we're gonna find out what keeps him looking so good. Only on 96.4 Spice FM. City on fire. That's right. We tell you what's good and we play it till you like it. This is the hottest radio station in town, 96.4 Spice FM. City on fire, it's your girl Taz. Sammy is here. Yeah. And guess who is here? The coolest musician in Bangladesh. Dash, Mr. Shafin Ahmed, what's up? Hey, I'm good. How are you guys doing? Oh, we're oh, doing amazing. Yeah. I'm enjoying myself, actually. You are? You have this show going till, uh, what, 2 a.m.? 2 a.m. Yeah, absolutely. Unfortunately, I won't be here that long, but uh, <laughs> did you guys just play Philia, though? Yes. Yes, we did. Yes. Do you know I was trying to say something to you guys? <laughs> yeah, why don't you say it? Yeah. Just you know, I'm so tired of uh, <laughs> hearing requests of this song. We've had enough of this song. And I was just saying that every time we get up on stage, we have to do this. Uh. But I would love to take a break. Hello, listeners. What I want to say is, please dig into some Miles songs. Uh, go a little deeper. Go a little beyond Fidia, though. And you'll find a lot, a lot of good songs out there. Dig them out. Uh, enough of this one. Give us a break. Okay. But you know what? It is uh, so popular because it's kind of an iconic song. It is. It is. That is why. Yeah. yeah. But uh, talking about music, I would want to take you back in time. And you remember before before I forget uh, this please. song in India? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was so huge. Yeah. They they call it like a uh, you know theme song about love and all Absolutely. that. Absolutely. They take it in a, in a big way. Absolutely. And it's been uh, you know doing very very well right from the time it released. I mean, everybody wants to listen to that song. And somebody uh, took it away from us. <laughs> I know. I know. The man okay. himself. Okay, we will not get into that. Right, yeah. so like I was telling you, I'm going to take you back in time a little. And yeah. I'm going to ask you that uh, we know both your father and mother were, you know, legendary musicians themselves. Now, how do you think that they have influenced your music hmm. more than your life? Hmm. How have they influenced your music? It's, it's been a natural process because, as I said, uh, growing up in that environment itself mm -hmm. has an influence. That Correct. itself is like a schooling. Absolutely. You know, uh, because uh, from childhood I've been hearing this and uh, what better lessons can you have than that? You know, all these years I've heard such high quality uh, Deshi music, traditional music. Right. Uh, this must have had an influence in me and uh, not that I haven't learned completely. You know, mm -hmm. I learned a little bit of classical music from my dad. I learned a bit of tabla from my dad. Okay. I learned Nazrul songs from my mom. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, so, a little bit of learning has always been there. Not not for a prolonged period or mm. not too seriously. But we used to have television shows where I used to have to sing my father those old tunes of 1940s okay nice. you know um, fantastic uh, songs beautiful tune and these are never going to die but for me to learn these songs at an early age mm -hmm. this, let's say if I was 15 or 16 and I'm doing this on television some of these songs were so heavy for me right it doesn't go with the age you right know, uh, but I learned I delivered those on television for uh, quite some time absolutely wow. and later on I must hmm. say um, I have done a tribute album for my dad uh, okay. called Kotodin Dekhini right, right. all his uh, some of his Adunik songs and I have just released a Nazrul song uh, in tribute of my mother who mm -hmm. okay. expired just died two years back uh -huh. uh, Nazrul's uh, album the first one for hmm. me and I want to do these uh, 
you know, as a, as a series of things. That's the door. beautiful. That was absolutely amazing. That is absolutely Those beautiful. Those old songs, I love it. Absolutely. There's so much interesting uh, details in there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? The wow. depth, you know, it. it's kind of um, heavy stuff. I really definitely am looking yeah. forward to listen to them. Huh. But, oh my God, your so voice, So from Nazrul man. to Hip Hop. From yeah. Nazrul to Hip Hop, yeah. yeah. Why not? Why not? I mean, you know, man of... Uh, we might be making some Hip Hop songs <laughs> very soon. Oh, I'm looking forward to that because this is a uh, Hip Hop and R&B station too, right? We are too, looking right? forward to playing them on our station, that's for sure. No, of course, of course. <laughs> but man, you know, um, I want to hear a little bit about your personal life, like uh, your love life. Like, I mean, your wife, your beautiful wife. Why don't you tell us how you met and... Yeah, this mic is pretty this... good. <laughs> mm. <laughs> thank you, thank you. But yeah, tell us a little bit about, about your family. You a pretty good setup here. Yeah. I know, he's trying to change the topic. <laughs> um, Mr. You cannot run away. So automated. I love it. <laughs> it is, it is. But uh, you know, coming but. back to your love life, how did you meet your wife? <laughs> love life is uh, all about music. Okay. Come on, Mr. Shafir. You have such a where, beautiful family. That's where the uh, love is. But yeah, but um, to be serious. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm married, my child, uh, about just four years old, and uh, I miss them when they're not around, mm-hmm. of course. and I uh, would love to have their company, like for example, right now they're in USA, Aww. Okay. so um, I'm not around, but uh, excellent time we have whenever we're together. That's beautiful. You yeah, see, yeah. you see, we were talking about that, right? Yeah, yes, but as, as a touring musician, you know that oh, yeah. I'm out of, out of the country Yeah, of course, so you're traveling often. a lot, yeah, mm. yeah, I can understand. Yeah, for sure. But you know what? We have some nice, nice songs coming your way. Only on the hottest radio station, 96.4 Spice FM, City on Fire. But guys, you don't want to go because we have something really sassy coming your way, right? Yes, All yes, right. it is. Coming up are some firing balls on 96.4 Spice FM, City on Fire. 11.49 exactly on the clock. You're hooked on to 96.4 Spice FM City on fire. Taz and Sammy on this Thursday night with their show. And of course, joining us today is a legendary Shafin Ahmed. Uh, how are you doing, sir? Do you guys have to say Ahmed every time? Oh, we we'll love it. Shafin, we love you. <laughs> we love you. Heart is yours. Shaf right. is even better. Shaf. Shaf. All right, fair oh, enough. Shaf. Oh, did we just switch in the name with you? Over here. Imagine this now. <laughs> so Taz and Sammy and Shaf. And Shaf. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, that's we cool. Like that. we, we love that. that. We like that All man. right, so welcome to the Taz. And the Sammy, Sammy and Chef show. show. But uh, what we're going to do is put you on the hot seat for us sometime, in fact. What have we got? Yeah, what have we got? Sleeves, We've got huh? the rapid fire. But before that, I'll oh. tell you the rules and regulations. We're going to ask you each this some didn't questions. didn't tell me before. I'm walking out. Uh, you yeah. I'm walking out. <laughs> you just right walked now. in. Yes, and right. we're just going to keep it oh, no. burning in here, right? Yes, yes. So for every question, to answer every question, you get three seconds. Okay. If you choose not to answer a question, your spice chicken point goes up by one. If you <laughs> fail to answer a question in those three seconds, uh, your spice chicken mm. point goes up by one. At the end of this interview, the number of uh, points that you have is going to determine. Give me a hot chicken. Now. Is that what you're uh, saying? That is yes, something that hotter. you have to look at because more, uh, spice and more. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. We're going to spice chili. things up after the interview. Uh, that will mm. be the the hotness of that spice will be determined by the number of chicken points that you have. So, are you ready? Okay. I'm ready. Okay, Tazzy, shoot. Oh, I'm ready to shoot my guns at you, mm. sir. You ready? Take it easy. I'll hide. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're going to start it slow and easy, all right? Okay. okay, question number one. One food you always find yourself craving? Three. Ah. You just got our chicken That's point. That's three seconds. That's three seconds. All Can right, we start question. again? No, we can't. The next question. A celebrity you would want to wake up with? Um, uh, Madonna. Okay, okay we give that to you. All right. What defines a sexy woman for you? Um, having everything, you know, uh, good shape, good mind, okay. good brain. Okay, so a package is good conversation. Uh, oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, interesting, that's... interesting. Next one. One musician you think is overrated? Um, I think. Uh, uh, oh, ah, chicken point goes up to because two. Because everybody I listen to is good. You know, I don't listen to anything ah, rubbish. That's been diplomatic. <laughs> I don't listen yeah, to anything. Come on. I've been diplomatic. Man. I couldn't find one. No All connection. All right, next. Fair enough. One band you would like to see live perform right now? Aerosmith. Nice. I haven't Very seen nice. before. All right. Okay. Performing live or recording? Okay, any artist. What do you that, like more? What do you like more? What do I like more? Mm. Uh, recording these days. Mm-hmm. Recording these days. Mm. All right. All right um, mm. Used to be live. Mm. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, sir, what are your good idea of a good floor play? <laughs> good talk. 
Oh, right now. We give that to you. We give that to you. We give that to you. Coming up next, the capital of Greece is Athens. Ah, you got that. Like that. Your favorite dipping sauce? Um, Russian. What's that? Uh, dipping sauce. Barbecue, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> oh, just say something. Just, just say something and get over it, right? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you some names and you have to tell me what is the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear those names. Okay. All right? The first one is The Eagles. Fantastic band. All right, Bon Jovi. Super songwriter and performer. Rihanna. Rihanna, outright sexy. Metallica. Metallica, lot of power. Scorpions. Scorpions, beautiful, great classic songs. Amazing, I like that. I amazing. Like that. All right, next question: Boxer or briefs? Sorry. Boxer or briefs? Oh my God, <laughs> these guys are getting serious. Uh, briefs. All right. All right. Your worst enemy? Um. Who? Uh, I don't know. Uh, nah, I don't know. <laughs> three chicken points. Three chicken All points. All right. <laughs> Why do you think divorce rates are so high nowadays? Because everybody's into the telephone. <laughs> ah, that's actually a good All one. All right. All right. If you were given the chance to rename yourself, what would you name yourself, and why? Chef. Nice. Shorter, smarter. Ah. And no, sexy. no, Ahmed. After that. I know uh, Ahmed. After that. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. Um, name one beautiful woman in Hollywood, Bollywood, and Bangladesh. So, so Hollywood. Um. Bollywood uh, is uh, Deepika. Okay. Bollywood would be uh, Sharon Stone. All right. Nice. Bangladesh, I have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> Does that suggest something? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> All right. So, what is the first thing you look at when you meet a woman? This is it. a bad face. Okay. Eyes. Surely. Oh, okay. Oh, that, that's okay. Face. I like All that, right. gentlemen. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, what would be a good exotic date for you? Out on the beach, a lovely dinner, on oh, the yeah. beach, on the sand, uh, hearing the waves uh, coming, candlelight dinner, of course, right. but uh, soft music uh, coming in the ears, and uh, beautiful, maybe a dance afterwards as well. Nice. On the beach. Oh my God, that's completely what my perfect date would look like, trust Ooh. me. Ooh, <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> what am I seeing here? Nothing. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead with this and ask you the next question. I'd like to you know, not go there and go right here into the question. If you were not a musician, you would be? I'd be a corporate guy. A corporate guy. Nice, yeah. nice, nice. All right, last good, question good. from my side. Uh, some states have legalized marijuana. Do you think we should legalize it here too? Yeah, why not? It was legal at one time. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know, Bangladesh had it, uh, had official, you know, government owned mm-hmm. shops mm-hmm. Uh, for it. Uh, nothing wrong. Oh, nice. Okay. okay, okay. Not nice, guys, but yeah, you know, nice. <laughs> no, nice. And what are you talking nice about? Nice and not nice. <laughs> I would say nice, but fair enough. <laughs> My last two questions to you. Yeah. All right. Your biggest regret in life is? Uh, coming back from UK. Okay, that's your biggest regret. And now I have saved the toughest for the last. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You need to rate this interview on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the highest. For you guys, pretty high. For me, it's about 6. <laughs> oh, really? Right. That's a lot of good questions, but I, I, I couldn't make it in 3 seconds in some of them. Yeah, so you still have 3 chicken points. Right. And you would want to know what uh, you're going to do with those 3 chicken points, right? What can I do? What are the options? You're going to know very soon. Yes. Oh, you're going to okay. know very soon. And for the listeners. Love yes, surprise. you will see it very soon on our YouTube page, right? Absolutely. And Facebook, of course. So stay tuned. <laughs> And uh, what you need to do for that is head over to our uh, Facebook page, most importantly. If you don't go there, how will you know? <laughs> Facebook.com slash 96.4 Spice FM BD is where you will see Shaf doing oh. something very soon. Ooh. Oh, yeah. If I, I let can. you record that. Ah, <laughs> if I let you record that. <laughs> no, Sir, enough. it's 20 people against one of you, okay? I think we'll <laughs> get that recording. And, <laughs> and the Halloween party is on. And, and, you know, the whole and team. everybody, me mostly, I'll get an excuse to jump on you for, for sure. So, oh, for right. sure. <laughs> I don't mind a party. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't mind the jumping. <laughs> Fair enough. I don't know what's coming. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, do I have to do this show alone after this? Or no, no. You want to be here? Yeah, I'll be. Okay. <laughs> okay, just where things were hotting up, I decided to throw in the towel. And uh, what we're going to do first, tell you that it was a pleasure having you on the show. Absolutely. Trust My me. pleasure too. A lot really? of fun. You had a good time? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. You didn't I... feel like an interview or anything. It was just chatting. You know? It was chatting Absolutely. with the Taz and Sammy. And you know what? Absolutely. We had such a great time. You are a great sport and we love your energy. And you know what? Just keep doing 
doing what you're doing because everybody loves that from you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. No I problem. Thank Pleasure you so much. Pleasure is all ours. What we're going to do is take you guys back into music. Only on 96.4 Spice FM. City on Fire. Oh, oh.